Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Augustus, and I'm back again with another episode of Tsukihime. When we last left off, Shiki was alone. Not only was he alone, but there was no reason for any of the people that, well, left to come back. Roa being dead means that there's no reason whatsoever for Ark or for Ciel to uh, remain here. We've already fallen out of favor with Ark, to be fair, but still, see, we were on good terms with Ciel, at least for the most part, and even she left. And there is, I think she said it herself, there's farewell, no reason for her to stay, or I at least implied it. So, you know, there. you would think, you would think that there would be not a new chapter, but an epilogue, a, a bad end, maybe some kind of ending. Instead, we have Red Residue 2. See? Nice little segue did there. Ha 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 ha. I wake up with a start and kick off my sheets, sitting up in bed. Wha I wipe the sweat rolling down my face. Maybe I saw a bad dream. I am drenched in sweat. I don't remember seeing a nightmare. Was it because of that book I read? I think I saw something a little bad, but I don't remember what it was. Well, a famous doctor did say it is the nature of dreams to fade away, so I shouldn't try too hard to remember it. I, I've never heard that before. That, that's very possible that I said. I, I just don't know the quote. If it is, I'm, I'm curious, and I will probably forget to look it up later. Knock, knock. A polite knocking sound. Good morning, Shikisama. Morning. I return her greeting and stand up. Hisui places the uniform in her hand onto the desk and shuffles quietly back towards the door. Please head to the dining room when you are finished. Yeah. Thanks, as always. After giving an affirmative answer, Hisui exits the room. Uh, after seeing her face, I completely forgot what it was I was thinking about. Jeez. Was I always this forgetful? Yes. Tilting my head in curiosity over myself, I change into the uniform. The knife is on my desk. The knife from my adopted father that I have always been carrying in my pocket these past few days. I probably won't have to use that anymore. That's right. They're gone. Arcoade, CL Senpai, the horde of beasts called Nero, and the vampire called Roa. All of them are no longer here. Maybe what I forgot was something about that. There isn't anything waiting for me at school. Senpai is gone, so it probably won't be fun anymore. Yeah, fucking Inui's still there. But that was how I lived my days up until now. I only lost something that I gained recently. Everything I had before then still remains. Sigh. If I think about it that way, I can manage without Senpai. I could never forget her, but I could manage. Fooling myself with that, I open the door. Then, let's go to school like I've always been doing. It's 7.50. The gate at the front of the school is crowded with students. Since it's Saturday, there are bright faces everywhere. I wade through the sea of sunny faces as a cloud of gloom. Man, you should probably smell. Gloom is supposed to be a really smelly Pokemon. Okay, enough with the bad references. <laughs> no matter what I tell myself, the fact that Senpai is gone weighs heavily on my... Hey. I can't believe my eyes for a moment, but there's no doubt. Ciel Senpai is walking towards the school. S senpai I shout her name without even thinking, and she turns towards me. Oh, Tonokun. Good morning. She gives me a bow. Good morning? Didn't you go back? No. I would never go back leaving you here. She speaks with a brilliant smile. 
never go back leaving me here? Even though there are students all around me, I feel myself blush furiously. Um, that is... Yes, what is it? Can I take those words for what they sound like? Yes, I leave it up to your imagination, Tonokun. She nods and gives a radiant smile. I can't breathe. Not because of the pained tension I had felt up until now, but because of the burning happiness that now wells up inside of me. If no one was around, I'd shout, All right, at the top of my lungs. Senpai. I grab her hand. So you mean you won't go anywhere, right? You'll stay here at school forever, right? Um, if I stay at school forever, I might become an old lady. I am a third year student, so I have four months left until graduation. But you'll stay here, right? You won't leave like you said yesterday, right? Yes, I'll stay till the end now. That's kind of an ominous statement to me that just for some reason it strikes as hmm, something something a bit off about that she'll stay to the end i hmm i don't know if that's just a translation thing or what but that's just to me that's a little bit ominous all right i let go of her and manage to stop myself i want to run around the ground for many laps as if i won a lottery i'm feeling really high no this feeling is far far greater than that. I feel like laughing out loud. I can't even bear to just stand here and do nothing. Tonokun, you should hurry or you'll be late. Oh, that's right. Later, senpai. Ow, my knee. Pop. See you at break. Waving a hand to senpai, I go towards the school building. Smiling to myself, I run as fast as I can to class. First period is over. I have 10 minutes until next class. All right. The instant I raise myself to go look for Senpai's classroom, uh, huh? Where are you going, Donoku? Senpai comes here ahead of me. Aren't you quick? Ah, nowhere. I, I was going to see you. I would always wait for you, so I thought I'd go see you this time. I see. That makes me very happy, but you don't know my class, right, Tonokun? It's third year, class B. Please remember it. Oh, really? So you really do take classes? Well done, well done. I see you do more than just drink tea at the tea ceremony club room. Yes, I do manage to follow classes. Hey, wait a minute, Tonokun. You think I'm really like that? Uh, I can't really deny that. Uh, sorry. But, Senpai, you said there was no members of the tea ceremony club, but I thought that it might have never existed in the first place. Senpai stands there and grows quiet. Huh? Don't... Tell me there really wasn't. It's just an unused Japanese style room. Hmm. It seems like I do not understand what you're talking about. Ciel Senpai turns her gaze out the window and stares blankly. N no, that's fine. No matter what you've done, you're not a bad person. I'll hold you to that, Shiki. So I don't think you'll cause anyone trouble, but can your power of suggestion do such a thing? I already told you, I don't know what you mean, so I can't answer that. Ah, oh well. Still in my seat, I stare up at C.L. Senpai. The silence lasts for about a minute. You're pretty persistent, Tonokun. Mm, not really. I was just thinking about how blue your eyes were. C.L. Senpai gives a sigh as if admitting defeat. I said it already, but the power of suggestion isn't that convenient. Suggestion isn't so much able to change your perception of things, as it is more like making you look away. So even if I told you that you really liked curry when you hate it, it would not work. R really? So you can't make someone they don't 
to make someone do what they don't want to? Yes. Well, there's still many ways for you to make you eat curry, Tonokun. For example, I wouldn't tell you that you really like curry. Instead, I could tell you that you would die if you don't didn't eat curry. Hmm. I, I get it. I would eat it even if I hate it. I see. Then you can do anything with that. No. It really is difficult to set a stage for such a thing as resistance would be great. There are many people that are difficult to forcibly use suggestion against, so all I can do is suggest something like, do not doubt what I say. Yes, Arcoade said something like that too. I see. By the way, Senpai. Yes? What is it? Yeah, uh, Senpai, you really love curry, don't you? Sia Senpai just smiles and does not answer. Her slight expression makes it impossible for me to see if she is denying it or affirming it. Well, it is about time. I'll see you again after classes are over, but is your body okay, Tonoku? Your arms are working fine? Yeah, it doesn't even hurt anymore. I can come to school thanks to you. I bring my hands together and give her a bow of thanks. I see, and how was your headache? It seemed like it really hurt yesterday. My head is okay too. Besides, if I have my glasses on, there's no problem. I see. Hearing that makes me feel much better. Siel Senpai head towards the hallway. She suddenly stops as if she forgetting as if she forgot something and turns around. I forgot to ask. Tonokun, are you feeling well? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks to you, all my troubles have disappeared. And that's good. If anything strange happens, then please do not hesitate to tell me. Here's my phone number. Eh? Was Line not a thing back then? Well, I don't actually know when Line came out. No, I guess it wouldn't because this was... I, I don't know how old Line is. Is Line just a smartphone thing? Because I know there's like with similar stuff with like flip phones and stuff that I've seen in... Uh, manga? Anime? Weird Japanese movies from the early mid-2000s that I watched? I, I don't fucking remember. She hands me a slip of paper with her phone number on it and quickly leaves the classroom. Her phone number? I stared down at the paper in surprise. I'm sure she told me this because she's really worried about last night, but... This is lucky. But is it good that things are going this smoothly? It's pitiful if I say so myself. Maybe it's because I'm a small town person by nature, but I can honestly be I can't honestly be happy about my good fortune like this. After homeroom is over, the classroom suddenly erupts into its usual chaos. It's not quite noon yet. It's always like this after Saturday class. The students rushing back home are eating in the classroom before they go to their club activities mixed together and create chaos. Standing up from my seat, I prepare my things while waiting for Senpai, and then... I'm not sure when he even came to school, but Arahiko appears with a suspicious smile on his face. Oh, this guy. Let's go play, Tono. Without anything else, he tells me what he wants to do. You seem pretty direct today something bad happen to you? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to hang out with my good friend for no reason. I don't trust that at all. It's all too suspicious. No way. I bet you were laid off by someone or something like that. I'm going home with Senpai today, so I don't have time to spare for you. Senpai? You mean CL Senpai? His eyebrows lift in surprise. Yes, but... Arahiko, you remember Senpai? What do you mean? She's who I'm after, how could I forget her? Arahiko makes his proclamation as if it was the most natural thing in the world. I see. Since Ciel Senpai came back to our school, everything is back the way it was. Oh, it's Senpai. Arahiko points happily to the door. Thanks for waiting. Good afternoon, Inuikun. Ciel gives a succinct bow. Shall we go back now? 
or maybe go to the tea ceremony room? Let's do that. If we leave now, we have to part at the gate. I want to talk to you some more, so while we have tea, we can... Someone punches me unexpectedly from behind. Hey, it's you, Orihiko. Yeah, it's me. I'm not one to open my mouth about these things very often, but since that was too much back then, I'll tell you. Arihiko looks at me and Senpai with sad eyes. Siel Senpai look at each other. Um, you two... It is Saturday, so why do you use it like that? There are far more fun places to go than the tea ceremony room. Says you, we almost killed somebody there. I mean, nothing? With a, great ex with a greatly exaggerated movement, he points out the window. Um, where? Outside the window? Well, I think he's talking about outside. I answer C.L. Senpai's question. And then, Arihiko whacks me again. Tono, are you really trying to make a fool of Senpai? Look, it's Saturday. It's still before noon, and we're students. So why can't you come up with an idea such as going into town with all these conditions? <laughs> Idiot. I've thought about that already. I did, but... I steal a glance at Ciel Senpai. I get the feeling that rather than roaming rowdily around the city, she would feel more at ease just sitting quietly in a park or something, so I can't ask her that. If I did ask her to go hang out in town, I think she would probably say no. I see. Then shall the three of us have fun? Oh. Senpai? Don't invite Inui. Isn't it alright? I don't have to worry about anything anymore, and I'll bet it's fun if it'll be fun to the go with the three of us. I... Yeah, if you want to, then I'd be happy. Yes. Yeah. Inui-kun, you're okay with this too, right? Please say no, please say no, please say no. Damn, he simply nods up and down. I bet he didn't expect things to turn out this way. Then it's decided. Um, what shall we do for lunch? Shall we eat at our houses, the three of us together? Or the three of us together? Hmm, we always eat at school, so let's put the money for lunch to play. Me and Arihiko are pretty poor, right? Uh, I could maybe borrow some money from my sister. It seems Arihiko really wants to go out and eat with Ciel Senpai. How about it, Senpai? Is there some place that you want to eat? No, I, I don't usually eat in front of others. I see. You eat more than normal, so I bet it'll be expensive. Whack. That's not it. What are you saying, Tonokun? I just recalled the data I collected during our lunches in the tea ceremony room until now, and just gave a personal opinion. I agree with Inui-kun. Let us all go out to eat. There is a place by the movie theater called Ane... What is it? Anenerbe? I... Fucking... I, I don't know. I heard has great strawberry pie. Fucking making me pronounce shit. Oh, you know your places, senpai. The owner of that cafe is a master of Italian cooking. Why does Arihiko know so many rumors and useless information? I've not heard good things about Italian food in Japan, but whatever. That's I, I've never been, so I don't know. But I've I've consistently seen things that J Italian food really is not good in Japan. I I, I don't know though. But again, just just what I've heard. Then let's wait in front of the movie theater in half an hour. Is that all right, Tonokun? Um, you know it takes half an hour to get to my house, Senpai. Better run. Senpai already starts to disappear down the hallway. Yeah, be late, Tono. If you want to, I wouldn't care if you didn't come till tomorrow. Dick. Arhiko stands up and dashes out of the club room. This all worked out rather strangely. Oh well. I still get to hang out with Ciel Senpai. Bag in hand. I also rush back to my place. Oh? Shiki-san, you're back early today, aren't you? Yeah, I'm back, Kohaku-san. 
I'm in a hurry, so see you later. Shiki-sama, you have returned. I'll be leaving right away, so don't worry about lunch. All right, 15 minutes. I set a new record from my school to back here. Throwing my bag on the desk, I change out of my uniform. After that, I fly out of my room again. From the mansion to the main street is farther than the mansion to school. To be honest, it's not a distance I can make in 15 minutes. She knew I lived uphill, but she still made that impossible deadline. Damn, maybe she might be a bit mean. I grumble as I shoot down the stairs. Throb. <clears throat> Throb. Suddenly, without warning, Throb. Everything turns red. Shikisama? I can hear Hisui's voice. I hear fast footsteps. Hisui seems to be in a hurry more than usual. Shikisama, are you hurt? I can hear her voice, but I can't see her. Throb. I just have this headache. Calm down, Hisui chan. Falling down the stairs just means a few bruises here and there, so there's no need to call a doctor. But his body is very hot. He may have fallen down the stairs due to a fever, so please get his bed ready. I understand. Nesan, about Akiyasama. That's true. If it doesn't turn out to be a big deal, we don't have to tell her. There is some medicine in my room, if you please. Hisui disappears with quick footsteps. I. Shigisama, are you conscious? Kohaku san? Yes. Shigisama, you took quite a tumble down the stairs. Fortunately, you do not have any serious bruises, but you seem to have a fever. You seem like you're going somewhere, but please, just rest for today. Kohaku san puts her hand on my shoulder and manages to make me stand up. Nah, I'm fine. I don't need to rest. I ran all the way here, so I was just out of breath. That won't do. How can you say that with such a pale face, looking like you'll throw up? I was told by your physician to monitor your health closely. I can't let you take such risks. But I made a promise. If you want to tell them you can't make it, I can go tell them. If you keep pushing yourself, I'll have to take put I'll have to put my syringes and give I'll have to take out my syringes and give you shots. As if she wants to keep me here, she stands in front of me. Throb. I have a headache. I in the episode, actually. Um I don't know exactly what I'm gonna choose here. I have to uh I have to make some decisions and hopefully this isn't the scene that I'm thinking of, which would make it a bit more uh, difficult, but it might be. So uh, we, we'll see. That might change the uh, change the choice that I make here. I'm going to have to either look it up or just kind of read ahead, scan ahead a bit, and then you know do whatever. I mean, it's not like it will be spoilers for me. I've read this before, so I'm not too worried about that. It's just. It'll be an annoyance if I start the episode, which I might do anyway, because I might forget, because I'm, you know, fucking forgetful. But anyway, next time, we well, what are we going to do? Are we going to obey Kohaku-san, or are we going to ignore her? But, um, what about, uh, what about our friends? What about our meeting? What about our promise? We said 30 minutes, and it's been 15, at least. So, you know, there's that. And, well, we do care about CL, so we, I mean, we don't exactly want to break that promise, but at the same time, who's to say what would happen if, uh, if we did leave, and who's to say what Kohaku would do if we did leave, because, well, she said she's going to take out her needles and give us a shot, so uh, that doesn't sound very pleasant either. But anyway, find out the answer to more, and that question, and more, next time. And Tsukihime. I hope to see you all there. Bye.